Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let me just pause the washing machine. <sighs> what another beautiful day. I can't believe how sunny it is outside. Even the weather forecast didn't say it was going to be this good. The weather said that it was going to be like hazy, like haze, whatever that means. Cloudy, basically. Um, sun is shy. <laughs> it's not shy. Sun is shining bright is what I meant to say, not sun is shite. Got my first load of washing on because I am determined that I'm getting my washing done whilst the weather's nice because Lord knows we'll probably have snow again next week. So, got that on. Um, what else? Oh, I've got these lovely flowers. Let me show you. So, you know, you guys may have seen that I looked after my neighbour's cats. Well, I came home yesterday to a beautiful bouquet of flowers and a bottle of Prosecco from them as a thank you and a little card and then the card says thank you for looking after us gutted the twats are back looking forward to next time love mr mcgonagoyal and pop tart which is obviously missy and poppy um the cats <laughs> so but how pretty are they i don't even know what kind of flowers these these are but they just look really pretty so yeah loving that um i do have a bit to do today I'm also back in Zumba tonight. I do need to do a food shop, but I feel like I might need to do that tomorrow. I will film it tomorrow because I, the, today's Wednesday for me um, and this video goes up on a Friday. I will film it tomorrow and put it in this video if that makes sense. So if there's some kind of like consistency issues with how I look, then just ignore them. Um, but yeah, quite busy today. My to-do list is longer than my life expectancy. So yeah. Fingers crossed we get it all done though. I am determined, especially on the washing part, um, but I do have quite a lot of work to do. So, I need to get cracking. I'm going to have some breakfast, really fancying a bagel, shock. What is a normal day with Jess if it doesn't include bagels? Um, so, I'm fancying a bagel, fancying a scrambled egg. I do need some, I need, I need to get through some ham actually because um, I've got a, a pack of ham which I'm very, very close to finishing. I'm sure Billy will help, in it, uh, will help me finish it, but... I need to get rid of that, so I'm gonna have some ham on there, maybe some soft cheese. Oh, let's just crack on. We've got the bagels, the rocket, ham, egg, cream cheese. So good. Sorry about my hair, by the way. Oh, I'm yet to like brush it. But yeah, really looking forward to this. It's been a while since I've had like a proper cooked breakfast. Is this classed as a cooked breakfast? Mm. I always feel like when I make something like this for breakfast that I'm going to have a good day. Because it feels like I've like really prepared myself. Um, set myself upright for the day if that makes sense and boy am I gonna need it my day-to-day -day, it's nothing exciting so don't get 
excited thinking that, that I've got loads of things to show you because I haven't. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast first and then get started on the dreaded tasks. So I've got a one of these calling cards from uh, the Royal Mail. I need to go and pick up a parcel. I'm sorry, Indian. Um, so you know I had a little issue with my um, with my Royal Mail delivery person just kind of wandering into my house. Well, I can't help but feel like I'm getting more of these ever since. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I don't, I, there's not been a time when I've noticeably, like, notably noticed. Is that even a word? Is that even a phrase? Um, that I'm sat in the living room and he's posting one through the door. But I, I just, I don't know. I seem, I don't know. Um, I'm probably going off on a tangent about nothing. Um, but anyway, I need to go and pick that up. <sighs> the weather is like, I can't get over it. And I'm, I'm not like dressed for summer. I feel like I, I'm not ready for this yet. I feel like I don't want to get the dresses out yet. <laughs> I know I wore a really nice, I wore a really nice like gingham dress on last Thursday, but that's like all I've got summer wise. And it's kind of taken me a couple of weeks to kind of, well, I don't think I'm even like there yet, but to kind of process the fact that I've put, I've gained weight since last summer. So the stuff that's in my wardrobe just doesn't fit. Um, and I'm kind of still processing the fact that I need to buy stuff that actually fits me. Otherwise, I'm going to be wearing black leggings all summer. And I don't want that. So, anyway, I'll let you know what this parcel is. So, I've just, oh. So, I've just um, picked up my parcel. I don't know if you can see that. It's from Lodo. I have a feeling that these are, this is a brownie mixture. Um, sometimes, because I work with Lodo... Um, sometimes they send out some products and stuff for like seasonal stuff, which I kind of feel bad for because um, I think this was supposed to be for Easter. It kind of arrived late, but never mind. Um, I'll still make some stuff with it, I think. I'll have a look when I get home. In regards to Lodo, so I used to be able to offer a discount code which um, gave you 10% off their website. Unfortunately, they've discontinued that. It was a affiliate code, so if you use my code, then like it was classed as an affiliate and I would get a commission off that. I still do get a commission from Lodo, um, but only if you use the link that I... Um, that I provide all discount codes and things that are on their website are obviously valid and things, but there's not one that is specific to like creators anymore so um anyone who had a discount code can no longer give it out which is a bit of a shame but if you do want to buy things from lodo and you do want to continue to support me then um there is a link in the description for lodo and i will receive a very small commission off that and based on your order i will receive probably a very small percentage of commission from that so and yeah every little helps and i really do appreciate everybody who does use my codes and use my links and things because it really keeps me being able to create this content for you so yeah like i say there's a link in the description for lodo unfortunately unless there is some kind of discount on the website um like i say i'm un unable to provide one anymore which yeah so i'm gonna go home now um it is boiling as you can probably hear i've got the let's turn it down <laughs> um absolutely boiling today really nice day it's one of them days where i really fancy just like driving around and soaking in the sun for an hour um but i don't have time for that so so i'm gonna go home <laughs> good afternoon so i was right about this, I've just opened it, it's the Lodo brownie mix. So these are actually really good, you know, they're only 65 calories per brownie, they make nine brownies. Yeah, you literally, okay, yeah, you literally just add 250 mils of water to this mixture and put, put it in a tray and put it in the oven. So, pretty easy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch now because feeling pretty peckish. Um, I've just been sat outside. Why, am I, why does it look like I'm getting a spot? Um, I've just been sat outside. It's just so nice. I can't believe how nice it is. I know I've already said this, but yeah. My washing, you saw me put it out, right? I need to bring it in. But that tree there is a blossom tree and it is getting all over the garden. <laughs> and I feel like it definitely would have had to have done this the last however many years because that has always been a blossom tree. But I cannot remember 
looking outside and thinking, wow, that's a lot of blossom. <laughs> that is a tail though. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I feel like I need to put another load of washing out. Maybe, do I have time? Yeah, I've got time for another load of washing, right? But lunch first. <laughs> pea and ham soup ready looking forward to this there is some spare in there which i'm just gonna pop in the tupperware and pop in the fridge for another day but gonna go and eat this i will leave a link in the description for the full recipe for this because it is on my website if you are interested really low calorie and just a great lunch the next day now and I've just been for a Aldi shop as I said earlier I didn't have time to go yesterday Um, I almost was thinking that I would maybe just skip out this part of the vlog but I do know that you guys quite enjoy watching it Um, so I thought I'd rather go a different day and actually get it in and show you what I got especially because actually I did pick up some like quite different things this week um, to what I usually do. So yeah, let's crack on with that. So this is the little lot that I've got. Um, starting over here, I did pick up a pack of bananas. Um, I did want to get the loose ones, but there, there wasn't many left. Basically, I went a lot later than I usually would. Um, so it, I mean, it's currently like nine o'clock. So I went at like eight um, and there wasn't that much left. I mean, it wasn't that there wasn't that much left, but like there wasn't as much selection. So I couldn't get the loose bananas. Um, so I ended up just getting the packed ones. Um, I picked up some more red onions. Now somebody told me to chop these up and freeze them in the last vlog where I whinged about the fact that you couldn't buy these like on their own. Um, so that is what I'm going to do with these. I've got some strawberries, some blueberries, um, some mango chunks because these are like my favourite thing to snack on. Um, some baby bell lights. I just, I haven't had these for ages so thought why not, let's pick some of them up. Um, some broccoli so this is different bread to what I usually pick up I usually get like a I usually get a loaf where the um, I think it's like a Hovis one but the slices are really really small these look like this looks like it's got decent slices and it's actually only 99 calories a slice which I didn't think was too bad at all um, it's the village bakery rustic bloomer um, and I like that it's like quite a small one so I can just pop it in the freezer and use it whenever um, so I picked up this um, fat-free natural yogurt. Now I picked this one up because I always get the pink 0% fat Greek yogurt from Aldi and like I don't really know what the difference between fat-free natural yogurt and fat-free Greek yogurt is um, but this was considerably cheaper so I thought I'd try, I thought I'd give this a try um, and see how we go with that. I then also picked up some sweet potato pakora. I just think that this will be really, really nice on like a salad, um, just as like a little salad topping. Um, got an avocado, some smoked ham. Um, picked up some of these. I have not seen reduced fat garlic slices in Aldi in time, like in time. So as soon as I saw these, straight in the trolley, believe me. Um, some watercress spinach and rocket. 
Um, some green beans. Um, I picked up some of these. They're like mini Aberdeen Angus beef meatballs. I actually saw uh, my friend Demi pick some of them. I, th I don't think they were the same ones, but I saw her pick up some meatballs for her boyfriend, Sean, and I thought, I haven't had meatballs in ages, so picked up some of them. Um, got two of these chicken and white sauces cans. So these, these remind me of Slimming World days because <laughs> people used to put this chicken and white sauce in between two slices of um, like Warburton's Thins and pretend that it was a chicken bake. This is probably one of the reasons why I don't do Slimming World anymore is because that would not have tasted like a, like a chicken bake, like nowhere near, but if, it's, if you think it is, then it is, I guess. Um, picked up some jellies. Again, I saw another YouTuber pick these up. I can't remember who it was. Um, if I remember who it was, I'll pop it on the screen. Um, but picked up some of these jellies. Um, just noticed them on like the end of an aisle. Um, got some corn mints. Um, some chicken chip alatas. Um, so I've had these before, the um, chocolate Alpro dessert. I did get the calories wrong on this last time actually, but it says here per each 125 gram serving is 104 calories. I for some reason thought that they were like 80. Well, they're definitely not. Um, and then I also picked up the heavenly vanilla ones, um, which are 109 calories each. They're just really nice as like a, um, like a sweet dessert if you're not fancy and just like plain yogurt. Um, I got some chicken skewers. These are the beer and honey glazed ones. I didn't think these were bad at all actually. They're 139 calories per skewer. Um, again, you can top up, put these on top of a salad or have them as part of your tea. I don't know. Um, so I picked up some of them. Then I got some lemon squash. Again, this was one of the things that just was not in stock. I usually get this one, which is the orange one, or you got the orange and pineapple. There was none of that in. So I picked up a lemon one. Just actually quite fancy something a bit citrusy. So see how that goes. Um, got some cappuccino. These are like the Aldi version of the, um, well, the Dolce Gusto pod. So I'm going to try them out. Um, got some bleach because, well, I run out and my toilet needs cleaning occasionally. <laughs> um, and then also picked up some paracetamol for my next hangover. So, I mean, there, there is a lot of different things. The price, it did go to £39.86. Which on a normal week would be fine. Um, I think because I did budget like £25 for the remaining weeks of this month. I don't really know why I did that, but um, £39.86 is under my normal budget. The one thing that does piss me off is that I had to buy bags because um, I forgot to take mine, which is my own fault. Um, and I could have saved money on that. I mean, it is only like, what, 10p, but you know, still. Um, so yeah, gonna pop that all away and then we are gonna resume back to yesterday and make our tea. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Billy really enjoys the egg chair cover. Not cover, the egg chair cushion. Do you like that? <laughs> All right. I do need to put it somewhere. I've got no idea where, I've got no idea where to put it. Basically, basically in the summer months, my egg chair I use when it rains, um, obviously I don't use it, but like the, the cover needs to come, not the cover, the cushion needs to come in and I've got nowhere to put it. I live in a one bedroom house. Where do I put something of that size? I don't know. Uh, last year I took it to my mum and dad's, but it's kind of that weather where like some days it needs to be out, like some days it can stay out and then some days it can't. So yeah, so at the moment it just lives on the kitchen floor and Billy thinks that it's his bed. So yeah. Anywho, just come back from Zumba and um, I really, really want to make the one pot cheeseburger pasta because I did make it in my me in my weekly vlog last week, um, but I just kind of like did a little, um, like zoomed over it and I asked if you, you guys wanted me to show you kind of step by step, so I thought I would do that tonight, make myself another little batch cook because it is great for batch cooking or if you've got like a family. Um, and it is also, like I say, one pot, so which means minimal washing up. Is that not the best part about it? I hate washing up, literally despise it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have that for tea. Um, have I mentioned that I've just been from Zumba? I can't remember. I went to Zumba, anyway. Um, I, it was one of them sessions where like, I don't really, I don't know, I didn't kind of, 
it's not that I didn't enjoy it. It's not that I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I love Zumba. It's great. But like, you know, when you just don't have the energy for it, like even gym sessions and things I've had this with and you go and you're just a bit like, oh, I really don't want to jump. Like, oh, I don't want to jump today. And like, there's a lot of jumping and Zumba and I don't know. It was just... I don't know, it wasn't the workout for me today, but I did it anyway, so yeah. Anyway, gonna have some tea because feeling peckish. Um, I also need to bring my washing in because that is still out and it's starting to get dark. Um, knowing my luck, it will literally start snowing overnight, so I can't I can't leave these things out. So I'm gonna have to bring that in as well. I might do that whilst, the, whilst tea's cooking. Anyway. Stop rambling, Jess. Let's just make some tea. So I've just got everything out now. So I'm using corn mints. You can use regular beef mints if you want. Use whatever mints you want. Um, but I'm just using the corn mints because I prefer it. So that is going in. I've also got some Worcester sauce, some mustard powder, garlic powder, paprika, um, some tomato puree. Now you're supposed to use like powdered sweetener, um, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna pop a tablet in there and it'll dissolve. <laughs> um, does the same thing, doesn't it? Um, some chopped tomatoes, some chicken stock, and then I usually use penne, but I've run out, so I'm just gonna be using tagliatelle instead. Just makes it a little bit different, but um, doesn't change the taste. And then I've just got some cheese there as well. leftovers in there you could easily get at least another three portions out of that maybe it's even four I don't know there was quite a lot there um the tiny tellies actually work quite well um so really looking forward to having this I am literally starving now so yeah gonna wait for that to cool down and just pop it in the fridge good evening so I've just had my tea um I'm just having some dessert so I've got my whipped Greek style uh, split pot from Aldi I just got the lemon one and then I've got a rather sad looking banana that desperately needs eating up. So I'm just going to have them. I am going to have a little bit of an early night tonight because I'm just so tired. Um, so yesterday, as in Tuesday, so yesterday I actually went lambing. So my cousin has a farm over in Appleby. I've been before and I went again uh, yesterday and basically helped and just basically helped with the lambs because it's quite a busy time for them. Um, I I don't even know what the word is. I birthed. I don't know. The, basically, the sheep was in labour. I um, assisted with the birth of two lambs. Um, so sometimes when the lambs and things get stuck, you've got to like kind of pull them out. Um, so I I did that with two. Um, two lambs and yeah it was it was an experience I'll pop some um I'll pop some pictures up of um I'll pop some pictures up but basically some so you have to like it's quite complicated so you have to like separate them depending on certain things so sometimes sometimes they won't um they won't suckle on the mother or the mother will refuse to feed them for some reason so you have to um like bottle feed them um or you or sometimes you have to put a tube down and feed them that way because otherwise they're just not eating um and then sometimes you have to like sometimes you kind of have to rearrange things because some sheep will give birth to their lambs and then just refuse to look after them but then other sheep will sometimes steal lambs from other sheep it's the most bizarre thing um 
so yeah so i did that yesterday it was quite an experience um like i say been before i will probably do it again it's quite um quite good but yeah so i'm gonna have my dessert it's like 10 o'clock now but yeah it's it kind of the last couple of days are kind of taken out of me it's just been very busy days um so yeah i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when i do upload next then hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys Boys, girls.